Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at a very old Unitron Model 114 60 millimeter Altaz refractor. Uh, I know it's old because of the fact that it's got a saddle type mount. It's also got a very old style Altaz kind of a situation going on here. And there's a little bit of a dramatic story with this because when I bought it, it was a horrible mess. I've improved it, believe it or not. <laughs> it doesn't look perfect and it is not fully restored, but it's uh, much better than it was. And you'll see a little bit of uh, before and after, learn a little bit more about this scope. And we're going to look at the restoration. This poor pathetic thing has been really beat up and put through the mill. Somebody painted it blue and put uh, their serial number on it. Let's see if I can do something about um, restoring it to some sort of a reasonable state. Okay, let's have a look at this scope. Look at the many flaws. First of all, the paint is obvious. Uh, something needs to be done about that. It's got several dents and uh, nothing real major, but several small dents that I might have to try and repair. The finder, interestingly, the finder is in quite good condition other than superficial. Uh, it works great and it's got a, uh, it's got a crosshair. So, and that's unusual. Here are the nuts that hold it on. There's, this one's correct and that one's not, of course. Let's see what I can do about that. This wing nut is probably not correct. This is certainly not correct. <laughs> Laughable. Um, it's a little bit beat up. Down here it's Missing all of these, there's some hardware that goes across there to retain the legs. Oddly enough, it's got the bolts. There's a leg that's a uh, foot that's missing. I'm not sure if I'll be able to replace that. So we'll see about restoring this beauty. Okay, here we have the Cleaned up Unitron 114. Cleaned up uh, pretty well, I would say. I didn't go for a full restoration. One of the most surprising things probably for you will be that this paint, this is original. And what I did was I used acetone to strip off the blue paint. And what's left this is the original color. It may not have all the original sheen, but that's original color. This over here, I've touched this up. And I did make a few little touch-ups here and there, but that's pretty much original paint. You can even see, you may remember there were some numbers and writing scratched onto the thing. And here we have the finder. And you can see that the finder is I cleaned it up a little bit, but it's pretty much the same thing. <clears throat> this is the tailpiece, I believe. I had to install this tailpiece, I think. I don't believe it had one. St uh, standard Unitron tailpiece. And these mounting nuts, that's original. This one is a replica I made. It's not great, but it's uh, okay. It looks better than the original, than the other one did. And down here on these, this is the original shaft. And I put a new knob on it. Of course, what was on there was a wing nut, which was not right. So all I had to do was make this or adapt these two closely these are pretty close matches they're not original but they're pretty close matches to the what would have been original and i had to make this shaft down here of course the rest of this is just clean up i just cleaned some of this stuff up the legs are in not great shape but not bad and here I had to make some, these are just little chunks of aluminum, a couple of bolts. Uh, it was simple enough to make that. The spreader, of course, is not original, would not have even had a spreader 
originally. But I uh, cannot tolerate one of these scopes without a spreader on it. I'm afraid it's going to fall down. Down here, there is a replica foot. I had to make that. It's kind of fun. Those are challenging parts. And I had to paint that one, so it means I had to put fresh paint on all of them. I don't much like to do that. I'm not shooting for a complete restoration. I want this thing to show its age. So there we have it. Let me show you how this old style Unitron mount works. Uh, you can loosen it up, move this around like so, tighten it down. Now you have elevation, altitude, there's a lock over here, and down here you have your azimuth. One of the idiosyncrasies of this scope is this thing doesn't move, so you've got one and only one position for that. You can get it completely turned around like that, so you're operating knobs all over the place and in the in the dark, <laughs> which is always a fun, uh, fun, fun kind of a little challenge for a 1950s, early 1950s astronomer. Okay, let's uh, compare this very early Unitron 114 mount with this one, which is perhaps just a few months later. Uh, and you can see, really, they're almost identical. They work in the same way. This thing is fixed, same problem as that one. Um, so not much of an upgrade there. The knobs are a little bit bigger. These are not original, so it may have been that those knobs would have been the same as that. I, I don't know. These are very similar to uh, slightly uh, smaller mounts anyway. Okay, so these mounts work in exactly the same fashion. This rotates like that, independent of the bottom. Same way, same exact thing going on there. Uh, the really big difference is the difference between the saddle here and the cradle here. The cradle is uh, considerably more useful. You can balance the scope and you can move the scope around like so, so you can orient it more easily, and put the finder where you want it. So that has a tremendous advantage there. But that's just about the only difference between this one and that one. And uh, uh, they're nearly identical in almost all respects. Later on, the mounts evolved to something more like this. We have a very similar situation, but notice how when this moves around, these controls follow you around, so they're very convenient. Lock it down here, lock it down there, and now you've got your Altaz slow motion controls right where you want them. So, uh, and this is where they settled in pretty much for the duration of uh, Unitron history. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this Unitron Model 114 from the early 1950s. Thank you very much for watching.